effects puzzles with your base can be fun and open up lots of creative possibilities if you use them tastefully. But if you don't know what each knob does exactly on them, you can get lost in the creative possibilities. My name is Umut and today we will talk about chorus effect and how to shape your sound using a chorus pedal. Let's start with what a chorus effect is. Chorus effect is used for making one instrument sound like a choir. How chorus pedal does that is, it takes your original signal, copies it, pitch shifts and delays it, and combines it with your original signal. Practically, it makes it sound like more than one bass is playing and making an harmony. Now, how to use a chorus effect? I have a Boss Super Chorus CH1 with me today and this is arguably the most sound chorus in the world. Let's have a look at the controls. This is pretty straightforward. We have four knobs and one on-off switch. First knob is effect level. This mixes your normal signal with your effect sound. Clockwise makes it more chorus effect, more wet signal. Counterclockwise makes it more dry, more of your bass tone. Second is EQ knob. This one controls the tone of your chorus pedal. Clockwise increases the higher frequencies. Counterclockwise, custom. Let's have a listen. In the middle, 12 o'clock. All the way. Now I'm cutting it. Now the third is rate, clockwise quickens your chorus signal. You see that oscillation. Now the counterclockwise slows it. Now the slow rate works well with longer notes. As the opposite, faster rate works well with more staccato type notes. Our last control is depth. As the name tells, clockwise increases the depth of your effect. Counterclockwise makes it more shallow. Let's have a listen. All the way. I'll get more rate to make it more audible. The opposite. that we know what each controller does, how do we set it up? First thing we will set is the rate. We will decide how quick we want our chorus sound to be. Let's tone this for our staccato sound. A little slower. 
lovers. <laughs> I'll favor my back pickup. New more mids. After the rate, second one is depth. The clockwise makes it more audible. Counterclockwise does the opposite. Third control we will look into is the EQ. After I set up these three controls, the last thing I will set is the effect level. If I make it too much chorus sound, my low end can disappear. If I make it too much dry, the chorus is barely audible, so I need to find a CV spot. set up a slow rate which is good for chords Adding a little reverb and delay makes it sound even better. Thank you. 
that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I also have an essential bass guitar course which is on sale now. So if you're interested, you can check that out as well. Talk to you next time.